Deep inside the male body, a hidden event unfolds in less than five seconds. Yet, inside those seconds, more than 30 muscles, glands and valves fire in perfect sequence. A biological chain reaction so synchronised that even a millisecond mistake could disrupt the entire release. A moment we think we understand, but rarely truly see. Most people believe ejaculation is simple, quick, almost automatic. But that belief could not be further from the truth. Because inside, it is one of the most complex reflexes the human body performs. A reflex involving the spinal cord, the sympathetic nervous system, the pelvic floor, and a network of microscopic structures, all working faster than conscious thought. Why does a process that lasts only moments require such an elaborate internal design? Why do the testes, vas deferens, seminal vesicles and prostate ignite in a cascade that looks more like a launch sequence than a physical reflex? And why does the bladder suddenly lock itself shut, switching the urinary system into a completely different mode? Imagine a wave of electricity rushing through the nerves. Imagine pressure rising like a chamber filling before detonation. Imagine valves snapping open and closed at precise timing. Imagine muscles firing in pulses every 0.8 seconds. Each burst pushing fluid forward like a microscopic engine built for a single purpose. But here is the surprise. Despite the intensity of the moment, ejaculation is not controlled by the brain's higher centres. It is controlled by a reflex buried deep within the spinal cord. A reflex that overrides conscious control. A reflex that chooses the timing once a threshold is crossed. So what truly happens inside that split-second release? What does the body hide beneath the surface? And why has evolution engineered such an intricate system for a moment so brief? Let's go inside. To understand ejaculation, we begin with the anatomical players. The testes, where sperm are made. The epididymis, where they mature. The vas deferens, which transport them. The seminal vesicles, which contribute most of the fluid. And the prostate, which activates and protects the sperm. All of these structures feed into a single pathway, the urethra, but this pathway is not always open, not always ready, not always welcoming to semen. Because in everyday life, its primary job is to carry urine, not reproductive fluid. This means ejaculation requires a complete shift in internal settings, a different mode of operation, a biological rerouting that happens under the command of the autonomic nervous system specifically through a reflex arc located in the spinal cord. A reflex that does not wait for conscious permission. During sexual arousal, signals from the brain and genitals travel downward, increasing activity in sympathetic nerves, which prepare the reproductive organs for emission, the first critical phase of ejaculation, a phase in which semen is collected organised and positioned before release. The bladder neck closes tightly, sealing off the urinary pathway, preventing backward flow and protecting sperm from urine, which is too acidic for survival. At the same time, the vas deferens begin contracting, pushing sperm toward the prostate. The seminal vesicles add fructose-rich fluid, giving sperm energy for their journey while the prostate releases enzymes and alkaline fluid, creating the final chemical environment that makes semen viable. By the time ejaculation nears, the urethra is filled with fluid under pressure, the prostate and surrounding muscles are engaged, and the entire system waits for one final reflex a reflex that leads to the moment of release. But this is only the beginning of the deeper mechanism. Inside the body, ejaculation occurs in two major stages, emission and expulsion. 
both controlled by rapid-fire nerve signals moving through the spinal cord at astonishing speed. 1. Emission – the loading phase During emission, semen is gathered into the prostatic urethra. Sperm arrive from the vas deferens. Seminal vesicle fluid enters. Prostatic fluid mixes in, and together they form the complete semen mixture. This phase depends on smooth muscle contraction, driven by sympathetic nerves. The same nerves involved in the fight or flight response, which explains the intensity of the build-up, the rising pressure, the tightening sensation that precedes release. 2. Expulsion – the launch phase Once the prostatic urethra is full, sensors signal the spinal cord, triggering rhythmic contractions in the pelvic floor muscles, especially the bulbospongiosus muscle, which fires in rapid pulses, pushing semen forward in bursts. These contractions occur about every zero point, eight seconds, increasing force, increasing velocity, and coordinating with the closure of internal valves so that flow remains unidirectional, outward only, never backward. At the same moment, the nervous system activates additional structures. The urethra shortens slightly, the pelvic muscles tighten, and pressure peaks, creating the characteristic pulsating release. 3. The brain's role. Although ejaculation is a spinal reflex, the brain influences its timing, intensity, and emotional meaning. Dopamine increases anticipation and reward. Oxytocin increases bonding and emotional warmth and endorphins create post-release calm. During the final seconds, the prefrontal cortex, the part responsible for monitoring and self-awareness, temporarily quiets, allowing the reflex to unfold without interference, which explains why the moment feels instinctive, automatic and involuntary. 4. The final valve system. After the last contractions, the bladder neck remains closed briefly to prevent backflow, then relaxes. The prostate releases any residual fluid and the urethra clears itself, ending the internal cycle. This entire sequence, emission to expulsion to resolution, typically lasts only a few seconds. Yet inside the body, it involves dozens of structures responding in perfect coordination. But the climax of the process is not the release itself. It is the rapid reset that follows. The true climax of ejaculation is the neurological and hormonal shift that happens immediately after release. The moment when the body switches from high tension to sudden relaxation from sympathetic activation to parasympathetic recovery. As semen exits, the intense contraction signals begin to fade. Dopamine spikes briefly, then begins to fall. Oxytocin rises, creating warmth, closeness and emotional grounding, while prolactin increases, sending a message of completion to the brain. This hormonal shift quiets the arousal system, reduces sensitivity and triggers the refractory period, the time during which the body cannot repeat the process, a protective and recovery-based mechanism rather than a limitation. The pelvic muscles relax, the bladder neck gradually reopens and the urethra returns to its normal function. The prostate reduces its activity pressure drops, and the internal system transitions back to baseline. The nervous system also changes state, moving from high alert sympathetic mode into calming parasympathetic mode, slowing the heartbeat, deepening the breath, and restoring a sense of physical ease. Emotionally, the limbic system interprets the experience, assigning meaning, connection, 
or release, depending on the context. This integration is part of why ejaculation can be not only physical, but psychological. This cascade shows that ejaculation is not simply a release, it is a full system transformation, a shift in chemistry, muscle control, nerve signaling and emotional state, all unfolding in seconds. The climax, then, is both the peak and the aftermath the switch that turns intensity into stillness. When we look inside male ejaculation, we see more than a brief moment. We see a coordinated biological event built with extraordinary precision. An event that protects sperm, directs flow, and transforms the entire nervous system. It is a reminder that reproduction is not just instinct. It is engineering, timing, chemistry and communication between dozens of structures that never stop working, even when the moment seems simple from the outside. The prostate adjusts chemistry. The seminal vesicles provide fuel. The vas deferens drive movement. The spinal cord executes the reflex and the brain shapes anticipation, intensity and emotional meaning. Every contraction, every valve movement, every shift in nerve activity serves a purpose. Each piece contributing to a process refined over millions of years of evolution. Ejaculation is often seen as the end of arousal, but internally it is the completion of a complex choreography, a biological story that begins long before release and continues long after recovery. It reveals how the human body balances instinct with precision, reflex with regulation, chemistry with coordination, showing us the depth of design behind even the smallest moments. And perhaps the deeper lesson is this, that even brief experiences can carry tremendous internal complexity that the body speaks its own quiet language through muscle, fluid and nerve, and that behind every visible action lies a hidden world of motion. Inside ejaculation, we find not just a release, but a system working in unity, a reminder of the remarkable engineering within every human life.